It was here, off the Lebanese coast, that the Ethiopian airliner plunged into the ocean with 90 passengers and crew on board early on Monday morning. In the hours that followed, rescue teams searched in vain for survivors, while debris from the crash washed up on shore. Witnesses said the plane was burning up as it fell into the sea. It was stormy and there was a lot of thunder. I looked outside and saw something in flames falling into the water. I didn't know what it was, a plane or something else, but it plunged into the sea. Victims' relatives poured into Beirut's international airport, anxiously awaiting news. On site, Prime Minister Sahad Hariri could offer them no clear answers. We are doing our job, we are working to find the black box that will tell us eventually what really happened on that plane. We, يعني, we, there, are, there could be many theories, but the truth will come out from that black box. So far, officials have ruled out foul play and are blaming bad weather for the crash. The aircraft, a Boeing 737, was only 12 years old, and Ethiopian Airlines has so far been considered one of Africa's best carriers.